What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new wrestling action figure news for you guys. Kind of dropped out of nowhere, of course, man. We are gearing up for WrestleMania 40. WWE World going to be revealing a lot of new WWE action figures, man. Going to be similar to a Comic-Con situation where they're going to put out a lot of new figures. Going to be there to cover it all and walk through the store as well, man. Can't wait for the trip Philadelphia for WrestleMania. Should be an insane weekend. Can't wait for it. Should be absolute cinema. But today, man, we got some brand new figure reveals and it's it's in the lead up to Wrestlemania and we have some crazy ones man we got some crazy stuff going on here new legend set featuring some first time in the line here and some craziness I just I can't even believe it man but I don't even know where this this news even came from to be honest with you kind of dropped out of nowhere and I don't even know the origination behind it but it's basically a photo it looks like somebody was in the Target store on one of those little handheld deals that they use to scan stuff into the you know in stock and whatnot and these images were like the promo images up uploaded by WWE on their galleries most of the time on WWE.com and somebody took a photo of the Target scanner with the photo on it so they're not the best photos here but let's bring it up man introducing the next legend set first up we have Rosie from three minute warning yes I cannot believe this this is absolutely insane man this is utterly ridiculous what we got going on right here man and what's really interesting about it is we have some new molds going on here now we do have some old molds we're gonna break into all the lore here but I did not expect this actually made my jaw drop seeing these figures here in the flesh right here, man. We have 3-Minute Warning featuring Rosie, and we have the other member of 3-Minute Warning as well in Jamal. Yes, Umaga. And yes, that Rosie. That is Roman Reigns' brother, Matt, when he was a part of 3-Minute Warning with Umaga or Jamal here. And this is just crazy, man. I cannot believe this. Now, we're going to get into all the lore here, but let's just break down the figure that we're seeing right here in front of our faces. Great-looking head sculpt. We have a brand-new head sculpt here our first time in the line character never seen him before i don't think this is a brand new torso mold but it could be i don't think it is but i can't exactly tell from this juncture here man but look in here man i mean they gave him the damn denver broncos i'm pretty sure this is a brian greasy jersey which is just crazy, man. I mean, even the likeness of the jersey looks like the Broncos jersey. Now, it doesn't have, like, the modern stripes coming up the side. Like, they changed it up a little bit here. But it's still cool that they even included this. And it doesn't look like it's Velcro. This looks like a jersey that you would put over the figure. And you guys know that they wore those massive jerseys to the ring. And this is just so awesome to see this, man. This also looks like a brand new leg mold, if I'm not mistaken. This may... I don't think this is the Sultan leg mold, but it could be. You know, I'm just, I'm just kind of throwing shish out there. But it may be the Sultan's leg mold here. But I think this is a brand new brand new sculpted legs here, man. But they even have the Newman gloves in here, man. He's got the threes. He's got the fists. And he's got the Rey Mysterio gloved hands, which are interesting. You know, I, I don't know how that all that is, you know, with the sculpts. Like, the hands look a little bit small here. But he's got his chain. He's even got the interchangeable ponytail there that you can plug in. And with all of this, like, we don't know who the chase is in this set just yet. I still want to continue to break down the lore here. But this Rosie figure is crazy because this has to mean... This has to mean here that we're going to get an official Rosie figure. And this actually might... You guys know that we already have the Hurricane in the Legends line beforehand. So maybe this is signs that we're going to get a Rosie figure. I mean, you're, you'd have to get Rosie to pair with your Hurricane figure. It just makes the most sense, right? So I think a Rosie figure will come down the line, but this is not something I expected, man. I'm actually blown away with this figure. I'm very excited for this. And I mean, hell, you could... I mean, like... The Bloodline extends here in our Elite Figure Collections because this figure looks amazing. I'm very excited for this. And we also have Jamal or Umaga here who also has his jersey. Now, it does have some logos missing here. Look at the size of these jerseys, man. They're going to fit so nice. And this makes me excited because now that we have these jersey sizes or these jersey molds here, maybe that means we're going to get some John Cena jerseys and what have you. But they have the same leg molds. They have their gloves. We have this brand new Umaga head sculpt here. He comes with his chain as well. Dude, I'm so excited for these i think it's crazy that we're actually getting these guys in the legends line and i think that this just kind of points towards getting more tag teams into the legends line and getting some throwback figures here the hair coming out of the headband i am so excited for this i think this is awesome so th this really blew me away i did not again this is not something that i expected here but rosie getting the broncos jersey here Umaga or Jamal getting his jersey as well. I just think that's incredible. I, I love these, man. But outside of that, we do have more in the line here. It's not just Rosie and Jamal in this line. We also do have another guy that I did not see them making a figure of, man. We have Big Bubba Rogers right here. Now, Big Bubba Rogers, for those unaware, is the big boss man under a different gimmick, obviously. 
And what's interesting about that is that he also is coming with the UWF Championship, which is just crazy, man. And I say that's crazy, but also, I mean, there was kind of like an Easter egg or some foreshadowing to this figure. Now, it is kind of a redo of some big boss mans. They did, you, you know, reuse some parts here, which is pretty genius, I think. But if you look at the UWF Championship, you look at the Elite 108 Terry Gordy figure that we're getting. On the packaging, I'm pretty sure he had the UWF Championship. So I think that was kind of some foreshadowing, meaning that they could use that and that we were going to be getting this figure. And also, WWE Elite Series 108 is shipping from Ringside Collectibles, so hopefully we can get some reviews in over the weekend here going into WrestleMania week, man. But this looks like a pretty cool figure as well. I do apologize for the weird images and the graininess, but we do have a new head sculpt here. You get some sunglasses, a hat, UWF Championship. I know a lot of people like to collect new belts and stuff, so that is uh, a another surprise. Didn't expect this at the slightest, so I like that they're going outside the box here for these legend sets and that we're getting some, you know, some new fresh faces in the line here. I, I mean, I'm blown away by this. And, of course, you know, they had to cap off this Legends wave with a Hulk Hogan figure. Now, we did know that we were getting two more Hulk Hogans. I would imagine that Hulk Hogan's going to be the chase. I hate that, you know, that he will be the chase. I, I don't know for a fact that he's going to be the chase. I'm just guessing because I remember Steve from Mattel saying, you know, we do have two more Hulk Hogan figures in the Legends line coming this year that we haven't seen yet. So that makes me think that, you know, this is going to be one and there's going to be a chase also, you know, just with some re colorations here but this Hulk Hogan is very similar to some other ones it is a unique look he's got the cowboy boots the training pants he's got the gloved hand I do believe this is I can't remember the exact appearance of this but I do remember seeing like a gif of him playing the guitar and he comes with the guitar here which is very awesome getting some reuse out of that guitar mold he's got the necklace the glasses so he's got a bunch of different accessories going on here you got the gloved hand like I said here but since Steve did say that we're getting two Hulk Hogan's that we haven't seen yet I guess that he would probably be you know what I mean I don't think there's going to be another Another legend set with another Hulk Hogan, but I guess anything's possible. But we already knew we were getting the Ichiban Hogan's. Putting this figure out here makes me think that this is also going to include a chase because in that same set, you know, with the Ichiban Hogan, he is the chase there. So you know what I'm saying? I can see some crossover there. And what would make me believe that Hulk Hogan's getting another chase in the legend set there, man? But that that absolutely blew me away. This legend set right here, man. I'm so hyped for three minute warning. I th I just think that's so cool. I can't state that enough. I, I I'm over the moon about that but we also have some images of the new SummerSlam wave now these are actually you can actually find these on eBay right now and I imagine that these are going to be hitting relatively soon because you know we do have these render shots here I would guess here in the next month or so I imagine we're probably going to see these on display I bet we'll see this new legend set also on display at WWE World but uh, you, we, we do have this SummerSlam wave here man getting in first we do have Lex Luger here love the coloration on this Luger like the head sculpts I love this American Lex Luger here reminding me of a damn major glory or something like that I love the boot mold they use for him. I like I like everything going on with this figure, man. It's almost like a very like a better version of what was it, Elite 30 Lex Luger or Elite 25 Lex Luger that they did back in the day. Very good figure, man. I'm, I, I love this. It's very toyetic. He's got the giant American bicep bands. He's got the elbow pad in there. Very cool figure. I'm very much looking forward to this Lex Luger here. And he also comes with the build a figure John Cone figure, and he comes with the legs there. But we also have the cane, which is an Elite Four re-release, which looks really good because I gave him the bigger arms. So this figure is going to be super up upgraded because Kane used to have those skinny arms. Now he's going to have the stitch. Again, you can use this as a Ruthless Aggression Kane. This is a perfect Ruthless Aggression Kane, you know, 0405 era Kane right there with the stitches on the pants. And this is a great era right here for Kane that you could use and the arms are updated. Great. You know, I, I would have preferred the pissed off head sculpt, but I think that we do have that figure enough or that head sculpt enough that you could probably track that down, put it on this Elite, but hell yeah. And it doesn't have pinless legs, which makes me excited because this figure will actually be worth a damn. But he comes with the head sculpt of the John Cone. We also have this Undertaker. Now, this head sculpt just looks ridiculous, man. I, I know you have a two, you have a couple different weird head sculpts here. He's got the wide eye, and then you have the wide eye with the shouting, which is hilarious. He looks insane right there. And you guys know that Mattel's been playing around with this for a while. They, you know, they've gave us some wacky head sculpts. We've seen some, you know, very characteristic head sculpts sculpts or some larger than life head sculpts we saw it with the elite 102 Austin theory we saw it with that new Monday Night Wars rock figure you know with the meme or whatever the gif where he's like you know like you know like kind of shrugging it all and then you have this figure so they are not you know they'll, they'll they'll make some goofy head sculpts here so we do have this goofy looking head sculpt I'm not a big fan of these head sculpts to be honest with you I, I I'm not a fan of them but I, I understand it there but he comes with the arms of the John Cone figure and then we also have X-Pac here kind of rounding at the set which is pretty much a repaint of his Legends figure here and I know that this is a attire that a lot of people have. We've seen it in basic form a couple times, I do believe. And I know some people are going to be hyped for this X-Pac. So we do have X-Pac there. He kind of looks like my science teacher from high school. 
Looks just like her, honestly. Like Freddie Benson's mom also is what it looks like, is what this head sculpt looks like to me. So you can get Freddie Benson's mom or Miss Yesick. I think that was her name. I can't remember. Nonetheless, he comes with the torso of the John Cone figure. And then we have the John Cone builder figure, which looks pretty good. I think they made him a little bit too old, to be honest, in the face. I don't think he's this old looking in the face. Making my man look like Robert De Niro right here. He has kind of a Robert De Niro looking face. But John Cone looks good. I like this figure. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like he has a new leg mold going on right here. Here. This may be a new leg mold. I'm excited for the referee figure. You know, we've been waiting on an official referee. We are getting the Teddy Long Builder figure in the Monday Night War set. Then you have this John Cone. So I'm all for that, man. That looks pretty damn good to me. I like the logos. They're very crispy, very crisp stripes going on right here for a shift at Foot Locker. So he's looking pretty damn good. I like the John Cone, even though they made his head sculpt look a bit too old. I think that he looks like a Robert De Niro, at least a younger Robert De Niro. Maybe not quite old man Robert De Niro, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. But that is crazy man I, I didn't expect this i did not expect i open up the damn instagram app and i see rosie looking at back at me like he's gonna give me a damn power bomb through a table so i i was super hyped to see three minute warning in this new legend set and again we're gonna get more details we'll maybe hopefully we'll get some new images on these probably next week at wwe world when they do these reveals again it's gonna be thursday morning and i'll be putting it up as soon as possible i plan to be there as soon as it opens i'll get into the store there do my coverage walk around do the whole deal and we're definitely going to be do you know doing videos there and revealing everything to you guys so i can't wait to do that and post all up to the socials and stuff man so cannot wait for that but i think that is all of the news that we have man i, I had to get on here and talk about this because these are some incredible reveals or some cr incredible images as sort of an appetizer leading into wrestlemania 40 and wwe world we're going to get a bunch of stuff there and hopefully i'll be able to interview mattel and get in some great footage there for you guys and give you all of my first thoughts as we you know show up there and cover all the news man should be fun man but if you guys are going to philadelphia or going to wrestlemania going to WWE World or whatever the hell it is. Let yeah. me know down in the comments section. I would love to meet you all there at the Superstore and chat it up and all those different things, man. So if you guys are going there, let me know and be sure to speak if you guys see me over there, man. I'm going to be probably hanging out there all day Thursday, so that will definitely and I'll probably be around there you know, throughout the weekend, but I will specifically be there Thursday like all day probably. I'm just going to go ahead and make that assumption. So that is all of the news we have today, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know all of your thoughts on this. I, I mean, I'm compl I'm stunned. I'm still stunned. And also, roll tide because Alabama has advanced to the Elite Eight of the NCAA Tournament, so that's another thing. It was just a whirlwind of, of, of emotions yesterday between Bama winning, going on to the Elite Eight after beating North Carolina, and then opening up the Instagram app and seeing my man Jamal right there. So that was crazy. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Thank you guys so very much for all you guys do. I have been sending over some teasers over there, man, of some upcoming customs that we got going on for our big video leading into our next Whatnot stream. So I'm excited for that as well, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on my name, Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later. Thank you.